Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are going to see how to build the execution environment from scratch using the building blocks or the pre configured um, definition files that uh, we have. So it's very simple to build an image. You can head on to Ansible documentation page and then um, you go through this. There's a lot here, but I'm not going to read everything out, which is going to delay our time. <laughs> Of how it works. So, without wasting much time, I'm going to use um, something very simple. So, I'm going to use um, a tag and then verbosity to build my image. So, what I'm going to do is that this one, I'm just going to run Ansible um, Builder using the command build. Build, and I'm going to use a tag of uh, Okay, first of all, I need to navigate to my folder where I have my files. So I can do three for you to see. And as you can see, I have my files over here. I'm going to run Ansible Builder and Build minus T. I'll give it a name. So I'll call it, let's say, Build. And the um, Ansible execution builder, I'm going to use a verbose of three. So this is going to take some time to build the whole image. It can take, let's say, 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your internet speed. Okay, so I will hit the enter to execute. And as you can see, it's building the image. It's going to build the image from scratch. And by default, it's going to use the Ansible latest, as you saw over here. It's going to use the latest image of the execution environment because over here, um, I disabled the base image to use. You can head on to, let's say, Ansible, um, create.io slash Ansible slash Ansible. And then you can, um, uh, reference from any of the images provided by Ansible to create your own image. So this is going to take some time to build and I'll pause the video and I'll come back when the... Okay, so the execution is done and then we've built our own image. So we can just do Boardman images. And as you can see, we have our image right here and it's very big, like 2.6 gig, right? Kick. So in the process of creating our image, we also uh, pulled the image that we used to build the image as well. So if you remember, when you come back, uh, I think I showed you, I'm not sure I'm going to get the history of uh, because the process is quite uh, a lot. I don't know if I'm going to see it, but I'll just try. Okay, so it's not showing. So it's basically using that image. So we can check from our repository over here. So when we go to, after creating the image, you're going to see this folder content, and you're going to see the build process, everything that was done. So we have the scripts, assemble, check, assemble, check, analyze, and those things. So these are um, scripts that's going to run, and we have the files that we included in the build process, and the container file. So this is just like, um, let's say a Docker, Docker file used to create Docker images, and it has um, everything simplified here. So let me see if we can get to see the image over here. So, okay, so this is the image, the base image that it used to build the whole image. So it was built from a, a Docker, a Docker file, as you can see over here. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. In my next video, I'm going to see how to push this image to a repository.